What happens when you combine a tech company like Google with the weirdness of Japan? You get shit like this, a five foot long keyboard. They were like, we haven't changed keyboards for a long time. They all look the same. So why not make something different? So they made a keyboard where there is only one row and that's the entire thing. And it's five foot long. They showcased all kinds of weirdness as to how this can be beneficial for small desks. It just takes one key worth of width. So you can keep it anywhere you like. And they even claim that it's easier to remember the position of the key. Like you can measure the distance. Oh, okay, 26 centimeters is key G. Or the fifth key from the left is this. Cleaning it is easy apparently and no more problem of cats lying on the keyboard. And apparently it boosts productivity because it's long enough for two people to work at the same time somehow. You can take it to work and you can use it as a balancing stick. You can use it as a pole around the house to rest your chopsticks or whatever. It even has some memory to record your child's height. So if you're measuring someone's height, you can do that. And when you go out hiking, you can use it as a support stick so many users now obviously this gboard bar version is a joke it's a gag it's not meant to be a real product but i've never seen google do this on any other country variants except japan Parody products are a thing. Many companies do that, especially for like April Fool's Day. But Google has done a bunch of these keyboard variations. There was one that's kind of designed like a spoon where you bend the spoon to type stuff. For some reason, this being a Japanese version makes it funnier. I, I don't know why. I'll leave a link to this video in the description. You can even head over to Google's Japan channel and check it out. Five foot long keyboards. Like what?